good morning in fact it's now afternoon it is two o'clock um i'm dressed like a normal human being Woohoo! <laughs> um <laughs> honestly it's like my treat for a saturday is to get dressed up do my makeup and everything um we have been out this morning we popped to b and q um one to give the car a drive out out and two to get some sample paint pots because in not next week the week after um I am on holiday for two weeks, so I am planning on redecorating the, re the house from top to bottom. <laughs> this might be a very bad idea. <laughs> um, because we have not actually redecorated this house since we moved in almost eight, seven, eight years ago, which is mental. So I've decided that I am going to redecorate and yeah I'm actually really excited about it so I've got loads of one of the things that was bugging me is that I was looking online at paint colours and what I wanted to see is you know like the booklets that you can pick up in the shop where it gives you like an example room all done up and like the colours that go together and like just the paint swatches and things I wanted one of those just so I could pick some samples from it and I was looking online for one and I couldn't find them anywhere so I've been to the shop, I've picked up some of those, I've picked up some tester pots as well um, I've also picked up some new sealant for the bathroom and all that good stuff so we are getting there with the um, DIY it's been a while since I vlogged, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's been it's definitely been this full week, like I've definitely not vlogged at any point this week um, I don't know why I've just felt I've been very busy and I've just been a bit, mm, a bit over it all to be honest um so I didn't really want to vlog when I was in one of those moods because I genuinely just felt, felt like I was going hi I'm making tea hi I'm going to bed hi <laughs> I can just not I, yeah so that's what we've been doing today this week it's been although it's been a busy week it's been kind of a productive week i've got some stuff done that i needed to get done which was good um i am waiting for a delivery today um from amazon one of my very good friends from work got herself a new desk this week and i'm not gonna lie fell in love with it and ordered myself one <laughs> So I will link it down below and um, I'll obviously show you it when it comes. It should be coming today at around three or four o'clock um, and then I'm going to build it and I'm so 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 excited. I've wanted a new desk for years but never really used the desk that I've got at the minute um, enough to warrant getting a new desk um, but now since I'm basically working from home full time, <laughs> well I am <laughs> and until further notice at the moment um, I thought why not treat myself and make my work area nice so that is what I am doing I feel like I've got something else to tell you I can't remember what it is I'm sure I'll remember oh that was not the best camera angle um so yes I'm about to get changed back into some form of comfortable clothes because although this is lovely and looks lovely it's not the sitting around in the house kind of clothes but it is really really nice to put something on that is not joggers and a jumper to be honest um i will quickly show you it i got this top just before lockdown started um and i've not worn it yet so i thought i'd give it a go and i really really like it so this is the outfit this top is from new look and what i really really like about it is the like square neckline it just seems to be like really really flattering on me and yeah really like it i've also got my little disney castle necklace on because why not and just my standard levi's and i've got shoes on that are not slippers bonus <laughs> and just like that i am back to lockdown amy <laughs> in my spirit jersey i think this is like the bronze collection that they had out like this time last year and my jim sarak leggings and my most worn pair of shoes of 2020, <laughs> my slippers.
white and white. It's not white. It's not white. Mm -hmm. Decorating. I'm just going to decorate and you can't mention, you can't have any say and I'm just going to make the house look pretty. swatches for the like testers that I got today I'm not sure yet like I'm very indecisive <laughs> and home decor kind of stresses me out a bit like I'm always worried particularly since it's all like big investment pieces and can get quite expensive Um I kind of worry that I buy the wrong things and it doesn't go together or paint the walls the wrong color and it doesn't go with things so like it gives me a little bit of stress <laughs> so what i did was i painted all of the colors out on pieces of paper and i have cut them out and wrote the colors on the bottom of them so this one i don't know if you can see it the colors are probably not going to come out on camera so this one is mint macaroon this one is tranquil tranquil dawn yeah um or down yeah tranquil down that one is this one is pink blush which i actually really quite like but i'm not sure where we could put that this one is egyptian cotton i went for this because it is more like the color that we've got in the living room but a lot brighter so if i literally just want to brighten up the room that one would be quite a good option i've gone for frost silver frost steel I don't think it's called silver actually i think it's called frost steel um because i kind of want to brighten up the walls in here so that's quite a lot brighter gray um this one is fairbanks this all of those ones were um what they called dulux colors and these ones were being used own brand this one's called fairbank which again is just a nice light color these are probably just coming out as white on screen because of the lighting and this one is called cancun which is the darkest of them all that i've got um so yeah but i'm quite glad that i've got the color books now because i've seen one as well that i think it would be a really really good color so i'm gonna have a bit of a 
Pinterest stalk tonight. I think that's what I'm going to do. And a bit of Ikea stalking as well. Maybe some Dunnell Mill. Um, any other suggestions that you've got for like home inspiration kind of websites and like furniture websites, made.com is probably another really good shout. So yeah, I'm going to have a look at those tonight and try and decide on what I'm going to do because the thing is I'm currently trying to decorate around the furniture that we've got. However, the furniture that we've got I don't really like. So it's like a toss up of do I get new furniture and like completely change the way I decorate which to be fair probably the way that I'd much prefer it to be or do I decorate kind of in the middle but like go for the colours that would match the furniture but they're not quite the colours that I really want to go for that's the current dilemma that I'm having because obviously just painting the walls are not that expensive painting the walls getting new furniture like going all out a little bit more pricey so yeah I need to think about that but while I was painting those something arrived and that does have an address on so we won't show you that bit but look I have got two boxes which are my desk so I am going to build that after I've made tea so I'm going to tend the kitchen and make tea now and then I'm going to go upstairs and build that desk Probably a bit of a strange choice for a nightly task, but I feel like it'll be really good. And um, once it's up and ready, I will be over the moon with it. Um, I'm very much a flat pack queen. I love flat pack. I've always loved flat pack, mainly because I used to build it with my granddad. Um, and it really reminds me of my granddad when I build stuff. So yeah, it'd be really nice to build it because I just think my little going dead all the time when I build it, but yeah. Um, he was telling me the other day actually that he had a, a greenhouse that he was going to put up and like that was flat pack as well and th like just before this kind of kicked off he was going to ask me to come over and do it for him um, but obviously he's had to do it himself with me not being allowed to visit so yeah that sucks a bit to be fair. Not seen them since New Year's Day. And it's almost due, which is the longest I think I've ever not seen mine and I'm glad, which is quite sad. Um, this took a turn. <laughs> um, I'm going to sort the kitchen out now and then I'm going to build the desk and watch some Disney vlogs, obviously, in the meantime. Um, speaking of Disney vlogs, I've had some lovely like I mean lovely messages off a few of you on Instagram and honestly they have made my day um just saying how much you love the Disney vlogs how much they're like getting you through this time which honestly they're getting me through as well um and how much you're looking forward like you've had trips cancelled but you've managed to rebook them and yeah I'm just so glad that the Disney vlogs kind of give you that bit of an escape as well and um, they definitely do for me with other people's when they upload them and um, so I just want to say like a big big thank you for reaching out and saying like that I've kind of brightened up your day a little bit because it brightens up my day to hear that Um, I'm actually really glad in hindsight that I didn't manage to get all the Disney vlogs up last year because they're definitely getting us all through at the minute so I'm so glad that I'm able to upload them now um, I've just up I've just edited the Typhoon Lagoon vlog which will be the next one that goes up um, and it made me smile all the way through and I mentioned in that vlog that we are now halfway through the trip which is crazy considering that is episode 19 so that's the 19th vlog in that series so technically if I've continued vlogging at the same rate and have the same amount of footage we've got another like 20 vlogs to go so just to keep these all going there's plenty plenty Disney vlogs to come so right I'm gonna get stuff done now because I'm currently procrastinating and I will see you all when I get my screwdriver out and start doing some DIY so, <laughs> I'll have to bend down because I've left my tripod downstairs and I'm not going to get it because it's a three story house. Um, yeah, I was going to, we've had tea and I was going to build the desk tonight but I think it might be a two person job. I mean, Phil's not, like, 
Phil doesn't like doing flat pack, let's be honest. <laughs> but some of the bits I think I'll need his help with to like pick up and stuff. Like to hold in place while like, like screw them together and whatever. Yeah. So he's currently playing with the boys on the PlayStation. So I've run up the stairs too quickly and can't breathe. <laughs> um, so I think instead what I'm going to do is I am going to treat myself. I'll tell you what. There you go, that's better. <laughs> I am going to treat myself to a face mask because when I tidied out my um, cupboard area the other day, um, I found a ton of like sheet masks and eye masks and things. So I am going to give some of these a go. So I think I'm going to use this eye mask, which is for late nights. <laughs> yep. Too many cheeky wines, not so much. Let's not forget the carbs on carbs. Too right. So I am going to be using that eye mask. I'm not even going to try and say it. And we'll see how it goes. I got this from um, out of a birch box. And then I might do, I've got like hair masks and all sorts in here. And then I might do an actual face mask. What's this one? Power of treatment. This one is cleaning treatment, clearing treatment even. What's this? Exfoliating. Maybe we'll try an exfoliating one. This one. Superfood. Is this sleeping mask? Do you sleep in this one? Oh, this one you leave overnight. I don't think I'm quite up for that yet. Um, I might try this one. I've actually got two of these. It is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay um, Flash Perfecting. That again. Flash. Why can't I speak? Flash Perfection. I don't know why I could not say perfection. Um, exfoliating Treatment. Um... A patch test, have sensitive skin, massage, leave five minutes. Hmm, that's more of a like deep massaging cream thing. I kind of want a mask. Bumble and bumble, that's for hair. What is this? purple clear I think I'm gonna use a sheet mask you know um it's this one anti-aging formula yeah getting on a bit that might come in handy they are all Disney ones I don't really want to use one of those and they are both eye masks is that one an eye mask yeah I think so yeah eye mask I think I'm going to use this one after all that. So this one is by Beauty Pro. It is a, what the hell does that say? Thermotherapy Warming Silver Foil Mask with Vitamin C and Tea Tree. And it is suitable for all skin types, anti-aging. It is self-warming, energising complexion. Um, foil mask and she was intense moisturizing penetration and it is a 20 minute treatment that is the packet in case you want to look at it you can't really see it because you're in the cupboard and basically what do you do with it what do you do with it I think you need to wash your face standard and then put on the sheet mask we'll wait 20 minutes and peel it off so I think what I might do is I might do this one first and then the eye masks Let's get this makeup off. Something else this morning as well. Um, I I used this for the first time. Like obviously, like when I was tidying out my cupboard and everything, I found loads of makeup and stuff that I haven't used, particularly stuff from Birchbox. Um, and I found this eyeshadow crayon from DLS in the shade gold plated. Pull you out and show you. Um. 
just that one there don't look at my face there you go it's just that one there um, and I thought oh this would be brilliant for like a quick eyeshadow look so I put it on this morning I just like swiped across all of my lid come back to me swiped across all of my lid blend it in with a eyeshadow brush um, and we popped out as we did this morning came back we were out like an hour maybe it's max came back in looked in the mirror and it had creased biggest bugbear with eyeshadows so probably won't want to give this another go because can it stand eyeshadows that crease like i don't mind if they crease by the end of the day because like they've kind of worn off fair enough um but after an hour mm -mm, mm -mm, should last longer than that so that will probably be going the distance or i will have to use it with an eyeshadow primer i didn't use a primer but on a lot i thought with it being a cream based like thick eyeshadow it wouldn't like crease as much but yeah it did so Hmm, that was a bit of a fail. I am going to I'm a bit of a rambler today, considering I haven't vlogged for a week. I'm like chatting with Kathy. I'm gonna take off my makeup and wash my face and then do that face mask. <laughs> oh, that looks scarier on camera than it does in real life. So I have got the famous mask on. I look something out of a sci-fi movie. However, it feels really nice. It's not quite warm in yet, but I've literally had it on 30 seconds. So I'm going to leave this on for 20 minutes and then I'll get ready for put my jammies on and things. I will report back. Mask is done. I'm just going to, there's like loads of product, like loads product left on my face so I'm just gonna rub that in a little bit and then I will wipe over it with a cotton pad because there's actually like so much left on my skin it's quite nice actually because sometimes sheet masks can be a little bit dry like they um like your skin soaks up the product really quickly where this one had loads on it so it's still nice and juicy. Um, where are my cotton pads? They are in here. My nice new tidy cotton pad. Just rub the excess off. It was really nice that mask. Although it said it was like warming, definitely didn't feel a warming sensation unless I had it on like the wrong way around but I don't think I did um but yeah it was quite nice anyway I always find like the reason I haven't really used like most of my masks and my sheet masks and things is because I'm not kind of like that in touch with my skin if that makes any sense whatsoever in the sense that I don't know what that's done <laughs> like my skin still looks and feels the same. This might be because I don't really use masks very often. So I, like, I'm not used to seeing, like, a change in my skin. Like, using them regularly and, like, seeing, a, like, improvement in my skin. But I also have, like, quite good skin anyway, I'd say. It is quite dry. Like, it can be quite dry, particularly in the winter. Um, but any other times it doesn't tend to break out a lot like it's it's quite good to be honest thanks mum and nana <laughs> um yeah so hopefully that's done something nice to my skin a little bit of a treat and used up one of my masks i am now gonna throw on my pjs and go downstairs do some home decor research um because it's kind of stressing me out a little bit already and i've barely started <laughs> like I think it's because I've not decorated in like I said like seven eight years and I'll be brutally honest I do not like the decor of my house at all like these wardrobes hate them that desk hate it drawers in there hate them like it was all the stuff that we bought when we moved in because we didn't not that we didn't have much well we didn't have much money like we had enough to furnish a house but we didn't have enough to spend on like 
really nice long-term pieces of furniture this is all ikea stuff and nothing wrong with ikea stuff at all but it's all in the dark like brown black wood color and at the time i thought it was a brilliant idea however it makes most of the rooms really dark and dingy and it's like looking in my wardrobe in a dark wardrobe it just makes all my clothes look like dark and dingy as well which it's not the nicest i'm not gonna lie so i'd much prefer like white bright gray furniture like a teal color like yeah so that's kind of my as i said before like my dilemma do i just decorate or do i like completely overhaul it and make it the space i want it to be so yeah that's my little dilemma I'm having. Um, I've just exported a Disney vlog as well. That is on doing on my laptop downstairs. So I'm going to get that uploaded ready for tomorrow. And I might edit. I need to edit some weekly vlogs. Like I've not uploaded a weekly vlog in like two weeks. And I've got two weeks of weekly vlogs to edit. Plus this one. Um, so yeah. need to get some move on with that really. So I should probably do that tonight. But tomorrow I will be able to sit at my nice new desk and do it. Mmm check me out <laughs> good morning i am on my phone we have come out for a walk and i didn't want to bring my big camera with me Ooh, and phil's got us rambling off the beaten track he's like oh let's see what's down here let's see what's down here and now we're on some kind of random public footpath i don't know where it's going and he's gone off and left me <laughs> i can barely see his jacket so i better walk a little bit faster to catch up with him um it's i don't even know what time it is it's been out about half an hour it's about three o'clock in the afternoon i really need to get back to upload my disney vlog for today and also i want to get my desk built ready for tomorrow and heading back to work so hopefully <laughs> we're not out too long i've actually lost him proper lost him anyway i'll report back when hopefully we return home safely <laughs> Look at the area that we live in. We are very blessed in the fact that we have loads and loads of countryside around us. But yeah, we're really well connected to like towns and cities and things. and now Philip's taken us on another weird and wonderful trail he's found another path if someone finds this footage I'm somewhere in the deep dark woods of County Durham <laughs> look at this I didn't even know all this was here I've lived here all my life there's the river it's down there who can see it and Philip's left me again and there's lots of flies me and flies don't agree with each other, particularly these big ones. Oh, I actually look like I've caught the sun. Oh, <laughs> um, we are back. I am changed. Um, and I am knackered. <laughs> I think we were out. I think Phil said we've done about seven, fifteen, seventeen thousand steps, and we were out for a good two hours. <laughs> It was to the point where I was like, can we go home now? <laughs> I expected being out. <coughs> oh my gosh. I've developed hair fever. And it is the most infuriating thing ever. Um, but, I, like, it's not proper hair fever. Like, I have no idea what it is. It's clearly allergies. On a morning, I wake up and I'm like got a full-blown cold some days like my nose is running and sneezing a lot until about 10 o'clock and then it just stops like for no reason it just stops and then it's fine all the way to the rest of the day until maybe it's about like this time like seven eight o'clock at night when it starts again just before i go to bed 
weird however if i go out like today for a walk for like two hours outside in the bushes in the trees not a single thing it doesn't bother me at all so i have no idea what it is it's obviously some kind of pollen that's only really active at night um but yeah weird <laughs> so i'm not ill <laughs> don't have the virus i'm just gonna point that out if you hear me sneezing or coughing or anything like that it's pretty much allergy related <laughs> i'm oh, look it um i can't remember what i was saying now yeah we were out for a while i was desperate to get back um mainly because i had my uh disney video to get up so i managed to get that up it was a bit late it was it might be about half six by the time it went up to be honest um but at least it went up i'm so glad that i managed to get it up today um i have not managed i'm just washing up by the way <laughs> um i have not managed to start building the desk yet so it looks like it's going to be a tonight job anyway because i really really want it built for tomorrow to go back to work because um at my desk i'll show you it when i go upstairs it's so small it's perfect for like a quick notebook or like one laptop um but for me to have like a notepad out to make a list for like a client for like stuff that's outstanding or whatever i'm doing like to have a notebook out a keyboard and everything like my monitor and my laptop on the desk i can't get everything on there and it's bugging the life out of me particularly Hannah as well i can't have that on there at the same time it's just annoying so hopefully we can get that built tonight although it is currently half seven so i'm just about to start tea now and then i'm going to try and get that built fingers crossed we managed to get it all done tonight standard me like we didn't get up till late because we've been going to bed late because our site like our um sleeping pattern is currently absolutely all over the place because what have we got to get up for <laughs> so don't have to be up to go to work early don't have to be up to like go anywhere on a weekend so yeah our sleeping patterns kind of taken a bit of a hit recently but yeah i'm gonna make tea i'm currently watching adam hatton's new disney world vlog which is probably one of the last disney world series that's kind of relating to like the most present time because he was literally there as the parks closed um so yeah i'm gonna watch that and then make some tea and then i will see you upstairs for the building of the desk so it is now nine o'clock and i am determined to get this desk up tonight i also need to put the washing away <laughs> it smells lovely in here though it smells like fresh washing which is lovely and i just wanted to quickly show you my current desk situation so you can appreciate how nice it's gonna be when i get my new one so this is my current desk situation. That is a quiz that we did on Friday night. Um, it doesn't look too bad until you realise like this is our standard notepads that we use for work, which is a normal A4 notepad. And I currently have no keyboard. If I turn this that way, so it just say if it's on the end, I can just say I have my keyboard out at the same time, which is annoying. Um, I've then got my planner over here which is hanging off the edge of the desk um, yeah I'm excessive with pens and pencil cases but it's not kind of space that I could use anywhere I have to have my drink on my mouse mat <laughs> which is not ideal yeah I don't really need this on my desk but similarly that's not going to give me a load of room and then I've got files down there stuff another file that stuff that needs to go in the bin they are my shopping lists from the last couple of weeks um i have then got more stuff here and along here. that's my current desk situation this is i don't know if it's box number one or box number two but i need the second box bringing it up which feels going to do for me and i'm going to start dismantling this so i can build this because i definitely can't build this while that is still there hello from the future um it is now a week later and i have got my desk built um it actually took me longer than that evening to build it it took around i want to say around three hours so i got up early the following morning and finished it off because as i said i really really wanted it for washing machine started beeping and i don't know why um so <laughs> that's this week's issue um 
yeah so I got up early to make sure it was finished for work um, and yeah I'm in love with it so I'll quickly give you an overview of it. So here's the desk firstly it's bright and light and lovely which I just love um, secondly it's got so 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 much more room so it's got this bit that kind of sticks out on the side which has got shelves and um, these little basket things came with it so there's actually three of them two more of them are under there it's got room for my lever arch files it's got room for like my planners and some other bits like notebook stands and things it's got a drawer which I've got all my pencil cases in it's also got a cupboard which has got um, a shelf in it which I've got some papers and things in so they're out of the way I'm also able to I've got so much room on my actual desk so the kind of test that I did before with having my keyboard out in a notebook I can have my keyboard out and look at all of this room like I've got a full-on notebook I can write on it's just so 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 good so yeah loving that um, I've got my little chip a desk plant our thing at work is that we have desk plants so I've got my little chip one that I got from the Disney store um a few weeks before lockdown started and yeah I am in love Um, this little unicorn thing here my mum actually knitted me and I love it so it's just sat on my desk here Um, I've got my little kind of notice board thing here I've not quite decided what to write on it yet so I just left Disney World on there because why not then I've got my little Sophie and Dave chip pin which if you follow Sophie and Dave you Dave you will know that they release these pins and we're raising money for charity so yeah that is my desk and look how tidy the floor space is around it I've got my little work bag here another little bag with some bits in and yeah I love it it is so 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 nice to work here compared to my other desk and I've also got my castle picture up on the wall as well, which ah oh, gives me so many happy vibes when I look at it. This was from my beautiful sister-in-law for one of my birthdays, and I love it. I apologise for the sniffing during that, but I don't know if it was this vlog, last vlog, I have no idea. I basically edited all these vlogs last night. Um, I mentioned like my hair fever-like symptoms. Yeah, that's currently what's happening this morning. <laughs> So I'm sniffing like a good one. I'm sure it will stop in about an hour. So yeah, I'm going to sign off this vlog now. Um, the next couple of weeks, I actually have two weeks off. So you'll be seeing a lot, lot more of me. I'll have a lot more free time. So yeah, don't forget to like and hit the notification bell so you see when I upload new videos. There'll be so many more Disney vlogs coming your way. And yeah. Also, thank you so much for all your lovely, wonderful comments. And yeah. I will see you all very soon in another weekly vlog, Disney vlog, or maybe even some main channel videos. Who even knows? Um, so yeah, stay safe and don't forget to make your own magic. Thanks. Bye. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out.